Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what I'd like to do in this video is provide a quick overview of some of the new advancements provided by 1CNC XR8 lathe. Okay, so to begin with, let's head down here to our lathe toolpaths. Let's select lathe roughing. I'm going to quickly select that profile. That looks good. And the first thing you're going to notice that's brand new to XR8 is the actual amount of tools that are supported within the lathe tool library. This is a lot larger than in previous versions of 1CNC. So as I quickly come down here, you can see there's more inserts that are supported as well. In fact, if I go to the very bottom, you can see that 1CNC now also supports the very popular uh, prime inserts, which is very neat. Another thing to point out is 1CNC also now properly supports uh, both right hand and left hand tools within the uh, preview and toolpath simulation. Now for this example, I think I'm just going to use a 35 diamond, so I'll click OK to that. Now the next thing you'll note that's brand new is down here at the bottom of the dialog box, there's a new field here called name. And what this simply does is gives you the ability to name the machining operation as it appears within the NC manager. So for example, I could call this example. And then when we execute this machining operation, that's the name that's going to be used up here. Let's click next. This menu's about the same in previous versions, so is that one. Now within this dialog box, this actually demonstrates the majority of the new features provided by 1CNC XR8. So uh, first of all, notice that we have our cut direction, we have longitudinal and facing. This is the same in previous versions, but notice how there's an option here called auto. And what that simply means is that the direction of cut is based upon the direction that we selected the geometry. But you can now uncheck this and you can overwrite that and force the direction of cut any way that you'd like. I'm going to put that back to auto. We're going to get to smart rough in just a minute. I'm going to bypass this for now. Let's take a look at roughing style. Now these parameters are the same, but this format's a lot easier to use now. Notice that if we go to cycle, you have the option to also include a finish cycle and adjust the feed rate as well. I'm just going to leave this to normal. Now within cut control, cut amount, that's the same within previous versions, but there's an option now here called equal cut amount. Now this is very nice, and what this means is that if I have a cut amount of 100 thousandths, but the geometry doesn't lend itself to perfect 100 thousandths depth of cuts all the way through the machining operation, by specifying cut amount, one CNC will take a look at the entire range of cuts and divide that up into equal cut amounts as close to 100 thousandths as possible. So that's a good one. That's called equal cut amounts. Uh, there's also a brand new option here called retract clearance. You can specify that if you want to. That gives you a bit more control over the clearance. And then also here we have something called our arc entry. Now arc entry is really something you'd want to use if your tool was starting to cut inside of material. In fact, let me demonstrate that real quick. Let's uh, take this into preview toolpaths. And I've got the, the insert on translucent so we can see it a little bit better. Let's zoom in. And I do realize that I'm starting my cut out here in the air, but imagine if we were cutting inside a material. Notice how the tool arcs into the material, rapids back, and then starts its pass. And this special arc move is going to be used on each cut or each depth of cut. And again, this is something you'd use if you were starting to cut within material. Okay. All right. So let's go back in here and quickly edit this. I'm going to right hand mouse click and edit operation. And let's quickly push through back to that page there. I'm going to undo arc entry. Notice that when I undo that, there's a new option here called overlap. If I don't have overlap checked, notice how one CNC per each pass is going to retract away at an angle and then come back in. That's going to leave these little cusps on the wall of the actual part. But overlap, that's going to force the tool to come back and get rid of that little extra cusp so that your finish pass doesn't have to deal with those. All right, so that's very nice. That's called overlap. Now there's another option here that's brand new called order. Uh, let me demonstrate what this does. With depth first, what that means is this. It means that when cutting a shape like this where we have two different regions, one CNC is going to cut to the depth of one region first and then come over and finish cutting to the depth on the next region. All right, in fact, we can preview that really quick. And let's speed up the toolpath preview. So when it gets to that little shoulder there, we're cutting that first region. And now we're going to come back over when that's done and we're going to cut that region next. So that's what the depth priority does. Now, if we were to go back in here, 
Let's quickly edit this back into edit operation. And this time, let's change it from depth priority to breadth. Okay. And what that's going to do is that's going to take each depth of cut all the way across the part in each region. So if we were to preview this tool path, there you go. You can see that each depth of cut is being performed in all of the regions. Okay. And that's also brand new. All right, let's take a look now at the new 1CNC XR8 Smart Rough feature. Now, Smart Rough is really great when removing material from irregular shaped stock. For example, if you were removing material from a casting or a forging, this would be perfect for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly add a couple of fillets here. Half inch fillet there, half inch fillet there. And so this brand new geometry shape I created, that's going to represent a forging. All right. So if we're roughing this material out, we don't want a lot of wasted air cuts up here. We want the tool path to be contained within this new boundary. Well, that's quite easily accomplished now with one CNC XR8 Smart Rough. So let's quickly move through these dialog boxes. There we go. Let's activate Smart Rough. I'm going to use a clearance of 50 thousandths on that. We'll click finish and there you go. You can see now the toolpath has been contained to the actual smart rough geometry, that geometry we created for the forging. All right, I wasn't able to cover all the brand new features provided by 1CNC XR8, but I hope this video was of assistance. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.